Sup, bitch. Welcome to my playthrough of Blank Frame. I know I just insulted you, but you fucking deserve it. Because you didn't do that one thing you said you would do. You didn't go and accomplish the goal that you set for yourself, and you're paying for it now. By watching me on YouTube. Thank you. You cannot save in this game. This game is meant to be played in one sitting. Don't worry, the night may be long for Henry, but not for you. You can die in this game, in which case you have to restart the game from the beginning. Good. Thanks. Thanks for letting me know that. Alright. That's not putting pressure on anybody. Interact with the right mouse, blah, blah, blah. This is a game by R.L. Stein. I paid like, I think it was like three bucks for this game. It's a point-and-click horror adventure game. I think. <laughs> Um, is this a fake loading screen? Okay, never mind. What's? Hey, come on. I have a powerhouse of a PC. You can't load. What's loading? Am I playing? Hen Henry. What in the world was that sound? It scared the hell out of me. I think it came from the hallway. I should investigate. Ooh, this feels weird. This is not any point and click. I'm oh wait, this isn't even point and click. Can I crouch? Uh, I see I see that hooker and her pimp. This is a disgusting town, full of delinquents and sinners. <laughs> One day the rain will wash it away. That's who Henry is. That's computer, my computer. It's busted. I've been trying to save up for a new one. Gotta say, it feels real weird when I can't mess around with it. Almost makes you want to go out and do something. <laughs> Almost. Henry, you know, that sounds real ominous after the... The, uh, character development that I gave to you. Of being, like, a creep. The poster for Maximum Pain. I actually prefer the sequel, but I couldn't find any posters for it. Ah. Like, uh, what's... What, what movie is that referencing? True Pain? Is this a doorway? Oh, whoa. So you right click to do things in this game. It's really weird. What was wrong with left click? Is that a fridge? <sighs> My fucking rusted fridge fell through the ceiling again. <laughs> Blank frame. Cool. I read the description of this game, but I honestly can't tell you what it's about. The block. What in the hell? Ugh. <laughs> nope. It won't budge. Why is this so damn heavy? Can't open the doors, either. Okay. Well, I gotta figure something out. Uh, yeah, let's call the landlord. The building's phone lines are not working at the moment. Last night's storm is to blame. This all feels like some bad dream. Ads. Pile of advertisement leaflets. None of them interesting. As usual. Hmm. If someone comes by and drops a leaflet, could I ask the person for help? Doesn't sound so appealing, though. Sitting in front of the door for hours. Just go to sleep. Storage? Storage could contain something helpful. Uh, it's locked? Ah, uh, now I remember. I lost the key a couple days ago. I forgot to ask for a new one from the landlady. Great. I'm a dumbass. 
<laughs> I'm a procrastinating idiot who never gets anything done. I don't clean my own dishes. I'm a failure. Kitchen knife. I have no use for this right now. I, uh, yeah. You know, this game feels kind of nice. If anything, the lighting in my room is too bright for this game. That's, that's pretty good there. Local nightclub. Never been. Sure is good at making a lot of noise. Yeah, it's, it almost seems illegal that it's there. When you think about it. Guess this is what I get for choosing to move into a town center apartment. This is the town center? <laughs> oh my god, not even Gotham is this fucking dreary, dude. That crosswalk is bullshit, too. <laughs> Ooh, a car? Interesting. This game has some nice touches in it. When all you do is play Ichio games, like just seeing any kind of care going into your game sometimes is baffling. I've been drinking a lot more lately. Beer and energy drinks. Yeah, not very healthy. But ironically, they keep me going. What a guy. I'm not that hungry. I got nothing to eat right now anyway. Which could become a problem at some point. I, yeah, I would imagine. So we're looking for something to open the storage door. And I'm, apparently a knife will not help us with that. Oh, I do wish I could increase the FOV though. That would be a nice touch. Picture frame, two dollars. So that's not us, right? That's like, you just bought the frame. Picture frame with a default picture still in. What is that? What's that noise? Seems to be coming from outside. Let's see. Oh shit. What's this? Wind is blowing some paper against the window. It says, Nursing walls have grown tired. Dormant lungs need their cleansing before the night vacates them completely. Winds of vastness are waiting with open arms. Opening an eye and an ear to the world is the first step. I don't know what this is. Opening an eye and an ear to the world is the first step, huh? The fuck am I doing? Or even am I? Are am I looking at the other apartment? I don't see anything interesting. This is creepy. No, I don't want I don't want Is that a person? Like that like right under on the left side. I don't know, like a square head. Whatever, I, I don't think there's anything I can do there. I do have the apartment key now. So maybe, um, maybe we could do something with that. But right now, I think I want to turn on the TV. Television my dad bought me back when I moved out. Could kill some time watching something. Wait, where's the remote? Eh, probably just some rom-coms on anyway. Can't relate to those. Still. Probably should find that remote. Why have you lost everything? Your life is in shambles, Henry. <sighs> Some DVDs I've brought. I used to watch a lot of comedy and action films back in the day. But in recent years, my taste has shifted to darker films. Like horror and thriller. Cool. You're just like me. Well, you're an interesting guy, Henry. Newspaper. Dim River News. <laughs> when do I get to stop doing the voice? Do I just have to, I, I just have to do it forever, right? I actually hate reading the news as they usually just piss me off. But I read some every now and then. Ooh. I, am I supposed to be clicking around? Oh, I am! Some headlines. The young are starting to drift away from society. 
the officials consider blocking Terso Cave. The perpetrators of last autumn's series of rapes are yet to be found. Assuming there's more than one? More than one perpetrator? This is weird, man. What do I even need the key for? What am I going to do with that? I need to open that somehow. I Can I go back into my bedroom? Antenna? I have no use for this right now. Dude, just pick it up anyway. Put it in your pocket. You lose everything. <laughs> it's annoying. Sign. Blue Mound Apartments. This big ass sign seems like it could almost hit my head. I think my building didn't exist when they put it there. At least I like to think so. It's a stupid place for such a huge sign. Basically lights up my entire room every night. I liked it when I first moved here. Thought it gave kind of a nice vibe. Now I just hate it. Um, yeah, dude. On, to be completely honest with you, so empty. We sure could use an ad here. If you want the spot, contact us at ads, adsonus.com slash contact 202-555-0550. A blank sign for advertisements. I feel like I'm, I'm missing something pretty big about... Okay. Includes a key to my front door. But we can't even get there. I have no use for any racer. <laughs> well, I, I figured. You have no use for anything, Henry. There's no use for you. <laughs> Unfortunately. What do you got in there, dude? You, did you throw in a soda in your own... Oh my gosh. You couldn't even pour out the soda before you threw it away? This guy's a mess. What the fuck do I do? I need to find a remote, maybe? Do I need to really find that remote? Dude, sometimes you hear footsteps and it's really fucking freaking me out. It's my radio. Got it from my mom. No antenna attached, though. I could listen to some radio, I guess. Have to find the antenna first. Oh, you son of a bitch, dude. What, I gotta grab everything once you realize you need it? Take antenna. Well, we know what to do now. Thank God. What horrible noise. That was some weird radio station. All that racket must have woken up my neighbors. Ooh, cool. Huh? Someone's banging on the door. Guess it's a neighbor. Well, here we go. Hey. 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 What did you want? <laughs> the hell are you doing there? What the what music is that horror noise supposed to be? People are trying to sleep, for God's sake. Oh, Mr. Inha. Mr. Inha, I'm sorry. Ina? Mr. Ina, I'm so sorry. I, uh, it just... But, but hey, I, I need your help. What? You need what? Help. I need help. I can't get out. What? Help me too. I can't hear you, boy. I can't. It's blocked. The ceiling. Just keep it down. Ah, oh, fuck. There's too many switches. Just keep it down, party boy. I'm tired as hell. I don't have time for this nonsense. I don't know who Mr. Ina is supposed to be, but he sounds like a very interesting character. <laughs> no, please. Help, Mr. Ina. Help. I can't believe I'm in this situation. I gotta start thinking how the hell I'm gonna get out of here. Either climb down from here, or find a way to get this thing out of the way. I mean, looking at it, you know, like... I'm thinking what you could do... 
is um, just open the door. Like, you literally can open the door. You could move the table. You could walk right over here, insert the key, and turn the knob. And if it's a door that makes sense, it opens outward. <sighs> Does it open outward? I'm thinking. Because I know it's like a fire hazard if it opens... Yeah, if it opens outward, it's a fire hazard. But this is an apartment complex. It's not a front door. Like to a house, for example. So it would open inward. So I guess he can't open the door from there. But he could, at the very least, maybe move it like an inch and then talk through it. I'm not stupid. I know my doors. I'm gonna climb down from here. I mean, I could climb down from here. There's even a nice flower bed to land on if the rope is not enough. But this is an awkward spot. Everyone could see me climbing down from here. That's good. There's people right there. I'm sure there's a better spot. You dickhead. This window's not even openable. <laughs> openable. <laughs> so can't climb down from here. Alright, we need an even better spot. We need the, the spot in my bedroom. Hmm. Well, if I want to try climbing down, I guess this would be the best spot. Openable window. I could probably land on some trash, but best of all... It's not that visible, so it's not as awkward. Well, I need to put some sheets together, slide down, get some help. Simple. If you just wanted some help, you could bug the people right outside the other window. It's really, uh, it's, it's really not that complicated. I, I'm sure that anybody would understand if there was a fridge that caved through your... ceiling. Yes, I'm taking the bed sheets. I'm taking the taking the bed sheets. Wait, bed sheets. Uh, why am I thinking curtains? I'm dumb. Or blinds, whatever. Curtains. They're curtains, right? Damn, that's interesting. Look down. Oh, that's creepy. Huh. Too short. Not enough. Whew. Not good with heights. Not sure I can do this after all. So much for my shrouded escape. There's a girl there staring at me. Feels weird to ignore her. Might as well ask her for help. Hey! You hear me? You, uh, you wanna help me? <laughs> There's just no continuity in my voices. What? I said, do you want to help me? What are you doing, creep? What are you doing, creep? I don't know. That's... That's fucked up. I can't do that. She has a very masculine voice, okay? What? What are you doing? Are you robbing someone's home? Yes, call the police. What? No. And what are you doing with those bed sheets? You want people to know what your bed sheets look like. That's disgusting. <laughs> it's just some kind of fetish. Yeah, and hanging around a dumpster doing nothing at all? What about that? Two could play this game, lady. What? I, I don't. Get away! That's what I'm trying to do. You're gonna throw something at me? Back out! It'd be really funny if we died there and then we had to start all over. I'd be pissed. <laughs> this game would go from 7 out of 10 to 10 out of 10, though. Damn, what the hell? What was up with that? Well, that was embarrassing. No, it wasn't. That was some, like, that was some nobody chilling next to a dumpster and they threw a can at you. They had zero communication skills and you're embarrassed. 
Give me a break, dude. I, I'm, like, why don't you just go to sleep? I don't understand. Just deal with this in the morning. That's all you have to do. Okay, so we're back to square fucking one then, huh? We have literally nothing. And that was just another night by a boy Jack. Let me tell you, this night is getting wilder and wilder by the minute. As Friday nights always do here at DRFM. As you know, we're broadcasting from the town center right in front of the heart of the action. Yes, even though we just played a rather slow and melancholic folk piece, the heat of the night is burning us up. I'm Richie, and this is once again DRFM, keeping the grim from the dim. Stay on frequency and, well, try to stay by that radio and don't go jumping in that river just yet. Actually, don't go jumping in that river, period. The officials don't like that one bit. I know. I know, everyone loves to go crazy on these summer weekend nights, but people have drowned. Sorry to ruin your buzz. You know, I have a bit of a story about that river of ours, but before that... Dude, you're... this is not... <laughs> this is not okay. Oh, oh, and then you, you, you segue into your sponsors. Here's a few words from our sponsors. Stay tuned. Raycon. Crazy, awesome, listen to music, uh, noise canceling features. So they're like right over there, huh? Or like right there? In one of these buildings, I'm assuming. Um, that didn't help us in any way, so. Let's keep looking for a TV remote, maybe? I need to open it. Let's go back in the bedroom. There's got to be something different in here. Oh, shit. Plastic bottle. Thank God it was only a plastic bottle. Man, it should just scare me. Reeks of strong alcohol. She must have been drunk as hell. Good throw, though. Especially for a drunken girl. Hmm. This could be of some use. If I cut a piece of the plastic with something. Screw the sheet escape plan for now. I'm going to fix this situation. Take the... Take the thing with you to the kitchen. Why do I have to go grab the knife and then come back just to pick it up off the floor? Ooh, this is creepy. Just having a knife is weird. <laughs> what am I gonna do? Is, is this not what I need to do? What? Oh, I need to click it. You did not cut yourself. What did you... Did you... Did you just do the most irresponsible thing I've ever seen in my life? Damn it. Cut myself. Uh, seems like it's nothing serious. Guess I'll buy a new knife. Whenever it is that I get out of here. I'm starting to be on edge. This is getting to me more than it should. I'm gonna get out. It's not like I'm in a hurry anyway. At least I got the piece. Starting to think this was a dumb idea though. Listen, buddy. You just threw a fucking knife right out the window. Alright? So someone could have been there. I heard you could use this to open a locked door. <laughs> fucking Special Agent Henry over here. I know it's possible to open a door like this with a piece of plastic. Let's give this a try. Okay, I think I got it. I didn't get humiliated for nothing. What? You're a very strange guy, dude. Oh, whoops. I mainly dump all the useless stuff in this room. I should see if there's anything useful behind these boxes. Alright, when he's thinking, I'll read it in my voice. When he's talking, I'll, uh, I'll say it in his voice, okay? Huh, what's this? It's a hole. I've never noticed this before. There's light shining through it. From the hallway? Yeah, you want me to look through that hole, Henry, you little dirty pervert? You disgust me. Oh, Jesus, that's supposed to be a cat? 
Hammer and chisel. I have no use for this right now. I know it's a monkey, okay? Fuck it, let's look through, man. Ooh, hello. That's Miss Meadows, my next door neighbor. I get nervous if I walk past her in the hallway. Guess I have a bit of a crush on her. Don't know anything about her, though. Jesus, she scares me with those gorgeous green eyes. Does she? There's a peculiar graffiti behind the gate. I've seen these before in the streets. Okay, you want... You, is she looking for a key or something? I guess that's it for us. Okay, so there's a hammer and chisel, which I don't remember ever buying. What the hell do we need a hammer and chisel for? We... there's... Uh, man. Seriously, what? So I guess I gotta look for the graffiti outside the window again? Is that the idea? Should I look over here now? Are they in there? Wouldn't that be creepy, eh? To see her. I'm sure Henry would be fine with it, though. Little pervert freak. Ooh, a leaflet. It's a leaflet. What's this about? It says, Tired of waiting for that someone who's meant just for you? Your odds of finding him or her widen more than you could imagine at blah blah blah. Don't be left waiting. Yeah, yeah. Do people actually use those sites? What year is this? What do you mean those sites? Is, is there an eHarmony in 1980 whenever this took place? I don't think so. I don't need that. I don't remember if there's anything else in this room worth grabbing. I already have the antenna. There's the eraser. Um, maybe... Oh, I'm looking for the graffiti, maybe? What the fuck is that? What's up with that shadow? Got like a plunger in his face. What the hell's going on? This is freaking me out. Dude, let's close this window, man. This is dumb. At least it's looping its animation and it's not gonna kill us. Alright, so I'm wasting my time in here. Whatever it is, it's probably on the other window. This one. Nights like these give me kind of an exciting feeling. Like I want to go run around in the woods, but I never do. Well, now I can't. What am I doing here? <laughs> Should I try to open the front door? Can't open the bathroom. The cabin is in the way just barely. I need to move. So I need something to open this door. And I don't know if maybe I need the chisel. No. I'm not really sure what other items I could find. Like, the eraser is not going to do anything for me. Third time, checking in here. Can't pick that up. Nope. Okay. Anything in the bucket? Nope, nope. Oh, I can walk through these? It's my mop. This could prove useful. Take mop. <laughs> what the fuck? What am I going to do with a mop? I use on door. You're fucking kidding me. What do you mean? Christ, that's really heavy. I managed to move it just enough, and then it stopped moving altogether. 
but now it's blocking the front door even more. I can get into the bathroom now. So wait, you used the mop to pry this to get access to the bathroom handle. Is that right? It was strong enough to move that? Dude, if it was- if you could pry that with a mop, you could just- You could totally just push it yourself. Don't be ridiculous. Alright, there's some- Remember when he said there should be something in here to help me get out? There's dental floss. <laughs> you fucking dum-dum. 100 meters worth of floss. I could climb down with this. I could think of some use for this. Can be combined with something. Um... I mean, the only things that I have access to are an eraser and a picture frame. Oh great, the sheets fell down. It seems like the knot was too loose. Well, I'm glad I didn't start climbing down with that. I can't seem to tie a knot to save my life. I ought to learn that stuff at some point. If not to save my life, then I'm being dramatic. No, then I'm being dramatic. I'm gonna make it. I'm just stuck for a while. I have no use for this. What would you attach? Why would you? What? What, what are we? What are we doing here, Henry? There's nothing, I can't think of, I don't even know if there's anything else I can interact with. <laughs> Wrap the dental floss around the TV. Oh shit, I can look inside the window now. Uh, and we will. Um, alright, that's very informative stuff. How long before this becomes creepy? Like, how long do you, like, what is the threshold? Like, let's say this was you in this situation, right? How long would would you stare at this window before it became creepy, in your opinion? For me, it's like... I think it'd be like seven seconds. If you look for seven seconds, then you're a fucking absolute creep. Um, what's this? What's this? What's this? There's something in the air. This is my TV remote. What's it doing? Yeah, you're the one that fucking put it there, Henry. I'm... well, I got the remote. Yes, you did. This guy makes me sick. Is this what the guy does all night, every night? What is... what is he doing, Henry? Porn Kaiser. Alright, let's go watch some TV. Shoot. All right, I got the remote. I can now look what's on TV. So I'm thinking like some fresh prints. We can watch some Toonami. Hank, what about what happened last summer? It's all right, Eva. I was out of town. I don't blame you at all. But I blame myself. I have loved you ever since I first saw you in class. Oh, Eva. I can't help but... But I think I've ruined something beautiful. Eva, please. You make me feel special. Well, you are a special girl. Hank, let's run away. Keep riding buses until we forget the name of this town. No. I can't just leave again. You're not leaving. We're leaving. You self-centered little bitch. Oh, e Yeah, screw this. What else is on? Fresh Prince, dude. Hope is still discernible ahead, but mockingly so. After years of void, the pit's outgrowth. I can't read that word. Something stains the path. Hope. Void. Something. Let's 
chilling with the boys watching some Discovery Channel. This is planet Earth. This is stars. <laughs> I'm, I'm assuming there's something that they're going to tell me, right? Come on, give me the code or like, give me something. I know there's something. There has to be. Nothing? Ah, oh, it just goes on forever. Oh, that scared the fuck out of me. All right, let's go back. <laughs> it freaked me out. Oh, shit. Yeah, we're watching this. Of course we are. There might be a code. I see. It just loops. Wait, there was something coming. You saw it. It was like Sonic or something. It's a werewolf movie. Can can we can we get rid of that dumb piece of paper on the window? Like what what is it going to take? Get pools 24 7. City, city pulls. City pulse 24 7. Radio station? What the fuck is wrong with television in this world? There's there's 10 channels and they're all just evil. I gotta admit, I'm not too sure what it is I'm supposed to be doing, but this is pretty fucking creepy, so I'm gonna leave it on. It just takes too long. It makes me feel like, yeah, there's nothing. All right, back. Nothing to say about that, dude. No, no reaction to how terrible TV is. I should have cut the cord a long time ago. What are you? Oh, you're watching the space show. <sighs> is this like a code? What channel's the space show? So whatever she changes it to, that might be like a code? Like if she goes from 6 to 2 or whatever? That's interesting, but I haven't really had a need to... I haven't had a need to get a code. No use for that. Maybe I could do something here now that she's inside. Nope. Okay. Well... And I can't do anything with that. Nope. Alright, so we have the floss, but we don't know what to do with it. Maybe we can go back into the bedroom? No need for that. Yeah, dude. <laughs> I'm just fumbling. I don't... I don't really know. I'm just going through looking for anything. I might have to go back to the bathroom. Okay, so this guy is watching porn. But I know what channel that is. Right? So we know what channel that is. If we go from left to right, this would be porn channel. Um... What's that weird sound? It seems to come from the toilet. The water's gone. Should I flush? I'm scared. What do I do with this information? Oh. 
Wet magazine. What the? It's a... Uh, some kind of magazine. I don't feel like picking it up with bare hands. Need something to get it up from there. Like a hammer and chisel, perhaps? Ooh, paper towel. Nice. Wait, I didn't even pick it up, so I just go back, I guess. Grab. Do I not have the paper towel? Am I stupid? Oh, toilet paper. There's got to be something even better than that, right? That's what you're saying. Towel. I like this towel. There's no way I'm going to use this to pick up that thing. I need something disposable. Because whatever that stuff was, it looked vile. Uh, toothbrush. <laughs> so we're not going to use an eraser. Hammer and chisel, baby. <laughs> Never mind. Dude, this is fucking ridiculous. Stop being so picky and just... Grab the fucking thing with your bare hands. You little goddamn bitch. Bedroom it is, then. It's gotta be the eraser for some reason. Something disposable, like a coat hanger? Seriously, what, 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 what is your deal here? <laughs> How about a... Oh! This is what I use when I clean my keyboard. Anyway, this should be helpful. Take napkin. So, you won't use toilet paper. You won't use a paper towel, which is arguably more sturdy. You'll use... a napkin. <laughs> I just had to try it. Alright, alright, let's take out this magazine and have a look. Ew, this is nasty. What you got? What is it? Show me the magazine. Oh. Erotic magazine. Oh, close your eyes. This is... Uh, what am I doing? Should I open it? Of course. Uh... Okay, I mean, I do see the six right there. It's a partly torn magazine. You don't have anything else to say about it? Okay. Interesting. Now what the fuck do I do? <laughs> I still don't know what I need to chisel for. Let's read this again. Uh, it says, Nursing walls have grown tired. Dormant lungs need their cleansing before the night vacates them completely. Winds of vastness are waiting with open arms. Opening an eye and an ear to the world is the first step. I don't know what this is. I don't know either, dude. She's still on the space channel. Can I fucking leave? Is that a, is that a thing I can do? Can I leave? I'm so lost. I've been I've been at this for a while now. <sighs> like I'm looking at this and I I feel like there's something I have to do with the TVs. Like there's no way. What channel what channel is the space channel? Let's find out. Wait, is this the Space Channel? It is. Okay, so four. We have a number four. Two? So we have a two. We have a four. We have a two, a four. What chan what's, what's the porn channel? Six. Okay. So we have a two, a four, and a six. What's our last number? Oh, a six! Right? From the from the magazine. Hmm. 
Yeah, a six. A two, a four, a, and two sixes. Okay, two, four, six, six. But like, where the fuck do I input this? Maybe it's like right on the TV. So we have a, was it two, four, six, six? Yeah. Two, four, six. No, that's not it. What about the ad sign? Like, do I have to do anything with this? So empty. We sure could use an ad here. If you want the spot, contact us at adsonus.com slash contact 202-5550-550. Is it because the zero's not covered in the goop? So is that a number? Is it so zero? Zero two four six six? Zero two four six six. Zero two four six six. They have a zero. Two four six six. Zero two four six six. No? I don't I don't get it. Zero two four six. Maybe I leave? It just, it doesn't make any sense. What about, okay, let's think. Is it maybe the order that we received the numbers? So, okay, let's say, assuming it's the numbers that you can access, it would be zero for the bedroom, since that's where you start, two for the picture frame, uh, what's next after that? Zero two. What channel? What's channel four? Channel four is a space, so zero two four. Six. Six. <sighs> Isn't that right? Am I, am I stupid? I don't, I don't get it. Um. It says nursing walls have grown tired. Nursing walls have grown tired. Dormant lungs need their cleansing before the night vacates them completely. Winds of vastness are waiting with open arms. Opening an eye and an ear to the world is the first step. Is this supposed to be the clue? Like, what am I supposed to extract from this? Let's see. So, this would be number one, right? Nursing walls have grown tired. Dormant lungs need their cleansing before the night vacates them completely. So. Okay, hold on. Am I supposed to take this literally? Dormant lungs need their cleansing before the night vacates them completely. So, for example, the number on um, the porn star on the magazine, it's like on her titty, right? But there also is a lung there. So does that mean that the second number is six? Winds of vastness are waiting with open arms. Uh, open arms? Do you have two arms, too? For the frame? Opening an eye and an ear to the world is the first step. Okay, so let's let's do this again. What's the first one? Wind is blowing, blah, blah, blah. It says, nursing walls have grown tired. What the hell could this mean? Is it, is it the, is it the billboard? Because it's like goopy and rusted? Zero, let's just assume it is. Zero, this is dormant lungs, six, winds of vastness, arms, two, opening an eye and an ear to the world is the first step. So, zero, six, two, four? But what about the other six? Zero, six, two, four. Fuck it. Let's, I mean, I'm just, I'll probably just swap the numbers around. Zero, six, two. I'm a little scared. What the fuck was that? Nothing's happening. The screen is just blank. 
It's broken. What the fuck? What the hell? What is this? Writing on the wall. Knock. There's some writing here on the wall behind my TV. It says, knock. I don't want to knock on this wall. <laughs> Why would I do that? Huh, someone knocked back. Wait, so that's... Did I... Something fell be... Oh my god. It's Meadows. She's looking at me weirdly. Oh, I should open up my window. Okay, yeah, let's open it. Damn window's stuck. I can open it just a bit. Yeah, talk to her, dude. What's the kiss? What's wrong? Sorry, can't open the window all the way. Stuck or something. Also, okay. So, what are you doing? Why are you knocking? Uh, I just, I. Oh, you're just creepy. I need help. Yeah. No, I. I'm stuck. What? Yeah, the window's stuck. You already told me. You gotta speak up a bit. No, I mean I'm stuck here in my apartment. Uh, okay, you mean... Uh, how do you mean? The door is blocked. Something crashed through my ceiling. <laughs> I read that as on God? <laughs> oh God, you okay? Yeah, it's just blocking the door. I can't leave. The thing won't move out of the way. Okay, um... You don't have a phone. Oh, yeah, they're not working right now. What a timing. Hmm. Tell me about it. So you can't wait until morning? I'm sure things are going to work out real fast then. Well, I don't know. I've thought about it too, but I can't get any sleep and something weird is going on here. Sorry to bother you. I'm going to try and... No, I can help you. I got nothing else to do anyway. Just got to think of something. Um... Well, how about, uh, well, I think we should introduce ourselves first. Oh, gosh. We're, we're about to get a girlfriend. I'm Ava, Ava Meadows. Meadows. Yeah, I'm, I'm Henry Jeffries. Nice to meet you, Henry. Yeah, you too, Ava. Okay, now, should I try to push your door or something? to push uh, whatever barrier that's in front of the door. I can't unlock the door even, but hey, I could slide the key under the door and you could open it from the outside. Then try to push it. Okay, sure, let's try it. I'll wait by your door. <laughs> Fucking nightclub just does not stop. Mushy mushy, here's the key. Yeah, okay, let's give this a try. I'm gonna push now. Go ahead. Go ahead. <laughs> she must be really strong. Get out of the way, dude. Back up. Well, did it move out of the way enough? Not even a bit. What? I said... Not even a bit. No, I heard you. It's just that, man, I pushed really hard. Yeah, it's fine. Gotta figure something else out. Okay, um, I wonder if... Should I go around and ask for help in the building? Oh, uh, I don't know. I don't want to bother anyone at this time of the night. Except you. <laughs> I already pissed off one of my neighbors. Well, well, you didn't mind bothering me. That's different. There was... Uh, uh-huh. Anyway, I think it's understandable to bother people. You need help. Yeah, I know, but I'm not sure I can figure... I'm sure I can figure out something. It's a weird way to say that. 
If not soon, then by the morning when people start waking up. Okay, you still want my help? Well, I don't know what you could do for me. Oh, I have an idea. Oh? Come back to the window. Okay. Back to the window I go. Wouldn't it be weird if we see, like, a killer? Ooh, that's creepy. Um, yes? You climb down to the street with bed sheets. <laughs> you know, like in a prison movie or something. Oh, I already tried that. It didn't really work out. What happened? I'll just say it's been a crazy night. Lost my sheets and got hit in the face with a bottle. And that's the least crazy stuff. So you're not trying it again? No, I'd rather not. Oh. How desperate are you about escaping that room? What do you mean? I mean, if you really- eh, whatever. Maybe you're right about just waiting until morning. Yeah, yeah, sorry to bother you. How about you, um... Do you have a ladder? Because you could totally put, like, a ladder from here to there. And, uh... Just, like, crawl over. Okay, so I'm lost again. Why is it stuck on this? Am I supposed to do something? Like, Meadow's apartment is just stuck. Okay, there we go. Um... Well, jeez, man, I don't know. It's a fucking miracle I ever figured out that television puzzle. Now you're asking me to do something else? Oh, dude. Please, if I go to the bedroom, is something gonna be coming through the window or some shit? I really, really, really don't want that to happen. Oh my god. Here we fucking go, dude. What's going on? The curtains are sewn shut. Oh, I... Oh, I really, really don't like this no more. Um, grab a weapon, dude. We never had to use the eraser. Get the fucking hammer and chisel, dude. Don't be stupid. Fallen frame. Damn. My picture frame. Guess a gust of wind came through the open window. What the? Another one? Where did this one come from? Broken glass? Well, I guess I should make some use of this mess. This piece is pretty sharp. Take glass. Weird. What does it say? The night is long and powerful. Reliance on a strange... Ooh. That dog scared me. Reliance on a stranger is vital, and the forgotten sign of trust brings the two back together. As delight, emptiness is already lesser. What? The night is long and powerful. Reliance on a stranger is vital, and the forgotten sign of trust brings the two back together. The forgotten sign of trust? As delight, emptiness is already lesser. What is she watching? Ava is at her desk. I forgot to ask my keys back. This is going to be awkward, but I'm going to need to get her attention again. Ah, stop it. Alright, well, let's knock. How could I get her attention? I guess we could throw something at her, right? How could we get our attention? Oh, I think I know. We have to use a sharp piece of glass on the curtain, right? Oh, shit. Yeah, I figured. This is really creepy, man. That thing's not there anymore, either. What are you laughing at? Shut up. This is very scary for me. 
What's that shadow that passed by that window? I want to wait to see what it is again. <laughs> that guy's a comedian. He's killing it out there. Oh, I guess it was nothing. Alright, I picked up the eraser. But <laughs> what am I supposed to do with it? I just, I just picked it up. Oh, fuck! Do I use it on this? What do you mean, use eraser? What, what is the point? I combine an eraser with some dental floss. I can throw this at windows to get attention. Oh my god. Things are happening and I'm scared. You scared the crap out of me. What are you doing? Oh, yes. Sorry. I just wanted to, uh... Yes? You s you still got my keys. Oh. Oh. Yeah. Sorry. I'll slide them under your door just a sec. Hold on. Huh? So I also got another idea. Yeah? If you want to help me anymore, that is... Oh, you little... Fucking bitch. Oh, sure. I was bored anyway. I like Ava. What are you planning? You know that phone booth between our building and the bar? Of course. I can see it from here. You want to try that phone? Oh, now you're ready to bother people, huh? Yeah. Things are starting to get to me. I'll go. I'll be down in a minute. Be careful. Something weird is going on tonight. What? The Lincoln Street Junkies? No. It's... I don't know. It's so quiet now, huh? Much nicer to talk without needing to yell, you know? Yeah. Throat was getting kind of sore. You're telling me. Still. Kind of weird talking like this. You're telling me. I talk to my neighbors like this all the time. Really? No, silly. You don't get out much, do you? Well... <laughs> there's not much for... A, there's not much out there for me. You're the quiet type. I do go for a walk every now and then. At night. In the woods. You're just a weirdo, aren't you? A lot of times, yes. Well, that's fine. I'm... I'm a bit of weirdo myself. How come? <laughs> like it's an option. <laughs> I choose to be weirdo. I like to explore abandoned places and take pictures. You like going to those kinds of places? I could, I could take you to one. <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm losing it. Oh yeah, in the woods too, like you. Except, I tend to go deeper. How do you know how deep I go? Ever been to the log cabins? Those ancient things? Never. Yeah, they weren't anything special. I once asked my grandma about them and she said they've been there even before her time. And that they were used by some to stay away from Dream Seer or Dim Eye or something. Can't remember. Well, guess I'm going now. It'll be a minute or so. Yeah, okay. Thanks. Sweet, dude. Hell yeah, boy. So I'm assuming now we gotta go um, check up on her. Well, first we might have to get the key, right? Now nah, let's go check up on her. We're gonna look through the hole. Make sure she's doing what she's supposed to. Never mind. I guess we wait. Of course tonight would have been the night to use this damn thing. Normally I only pick it up and hear an, offic an official sounding or a fake cheerful voice. Otherwise, even if it was working, it would be completely silent. 
ads. I usually throw out all the stuff that comes to me straight to the trash. Just got to find the bills from the pile. Yep, no letters or Christmas cards or anything. Ever. You're a very depressing man, Henry. So, am I clear? Do I go back? Opened beer? I need this to numb me more. Maybe I need something stronger. I don't want to think. Dude, can you relax? Alright. No, 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 no. Ava, no, no, no. Was that Ava? I think it came from the alley. The alley? Oh, sh what is she doing in the alley, dude? What does the alley have to do with anything? Why are you down there? She seems startled, but I don't see a threat. Ava, what's wrong? Oh my god, Henry, oh my god. What? What? There's, there's been a murder or something, and I found the murder weapon. What is it? It's literally a bloody knife. Oh, a kitchen knife? Yeah, how did you know? Uh, yeah, don't worry about that, it's nothing. What? You... What? Have you... Did you... No, whatever you're thinking, it's much dumber. What? I didn't... I didn't kill anyone. I cut myself. Oh, Henry, I didn't know you do that kind of stuff. No, not intentionally, it was an accident, alright? Just... Just get to the phone. Uh, okay. <laughs> Pushy? I'll do that. And we get to watch, huh? I feel like I need to be in action mode. I'm freaking out. Close the door, Ava. Don't be stupid. phone doesn't work. Someone smashed it or something. Any ideas? Hold on. Let me look around, see if there's some other place. Okay, but please be fast. There's something weird going on. There's no one here. I'll be quick, just wait. I'm also very scared right now. I don't, like, I don't know what you want from me, Ava, but I'm freaking out, dude. Is there another payphone? Rick's Grill. I've actually been there. They definitely have a phone and they should still be open. So that's the one. I think the club is closed now. Not sure if I would have wanted Ava there anyway. Not like she's my girlfriend, but... Oh, there you go. This is true colors. She talked to me, therefore she's my girlfriend. Not, not, not that we're together officially, but... Ava, go Rick's Grill. There's a place. Go to the grill. Oh, okay. I'll be back soon. All right. I should go look from the kitchen window. <sighs> Jesus Christ. I'm so scared of whatever is over there, like, coming over here somehow. There's no escape, man. This It's too small in here. It's fucking freaky. Night is like an understanding friend. At night, I feel more normal. Alright, we're watching. Is she coming? Maybe the other window? Why are they letting me look at her apartment? What is going on? We have a call coming in and it's uh sorry, radio voice. We have a call coming in and it's uh Mike. How you doing, Mike? Hey Richie, I'm doing good. So what's up? You got a song request or a question? No 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 none of that. I just got a 
I want to I want to share an experience I just had on a on a night walk just recently. Oh, all right. Where were you walking? The center, the woods. Oh, the 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 center. Yeah, things have gone pretty quiet around here. You don't get spooked at this hour of the night in the streets. Uh, nah, well, some sometimes. I'm a bit of a night owl. I I love the calmness. This time though, I saw something kind of weird. I'm definitely a bit of a night owl myself, but uh yeah, what did you see, Mike? Something about this night. It's it's one of those nights. The air is kind of wet and heavy and and the river's fogging up the area, so I'm not even sure I saw it the way I Yep, I know what you mean. This night has kind of has a dreamlike quality to it. Anyway, Mike, tell us already. What did you see? Some kind of monster? Heh. <laughs> well, it's weird. I walked by this alley and I thought I saw some person dressed weird and staring at me right beneath the only light post that isn't working. Okay, creepy. Dressed weird. Describe him to me. Not a he. She. I'm pretty sure... I, I, I don't know. She was just wearing whatever she was wearing wrong. Okay. So I thought she was drunk or something. Yeah, there has been some partying going on just a couple of hours ago. I yelled out, You need help, right? Right. And she just started walking weird, man. Like, something about it. Maybe it was drugs instead. But then she started running towards me and I just, I freaked out and I ran away from her. Oh, damn! As I'm running away from her, I took one glance behind me and we're in better lighting and I, I, I could have sworn it was... You know what? I don't know why I called. This this was stupid. I, I gotta sleep. Gotta wake up early anyway. No, 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 Mike. What, what, what did you... Ah, damn. Well, that gave me the spooks. Soon, it's about time for me to wrap, so I didn't want to hear that just as I'm about to go home. Definitely not walking home tonight. Hee <laughs> hee. Well, there was no song request, so let's just play this beautiful piece by Lady Valen. Enjoy, and stay on frequency. This is DRFM. <laughs> DRFM. Okay, so can we... I wonder what's taking her so long. I don't like this. I hope she's alright. This is a strange night. Why did I let her go outside? It's not safe out there. Should have just slept through this. Very true. Oh, well, what the fuck was that, dude? No, 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 no. Are you back in your apartment? Are you safe? Oh, Ava, you stupid idiot. Why do you listen to Henry? <laughs> I am not going. I'm. I swear to God, I am not going. I am not going into the bathroom. You've got me fucked up. If you think I'm going, I'd rather look at this hole, dude. All right, I'm out of here. Oh, it won't let me out. Okay. <laughs> I'm freaking out a bit. Uh. Fuck it. Let's go in the bathroom then. What's going on out here? Nothing. Nothing's going on out here. Okay. Feels like forever that I've been waiting for her. What's the time anyway? Well, we can see the time right above the door. My clock is missing the hour hand. Not going to work. <laughs> Use the eraser and the floss. What do, what do you want me to do to the clock, dude? Just look at the clock over there. It's 2 a.m. according to Ava's clock. You wanna you wanna question why her TV's on? I'm freaking out. Why aren't you over there yet? Oh, it's gonna make me go into the 
fucking bedroom, isn't it? All right, let's let's go. I do not want to die and restart. <laughs> That's for sure. All right, cool. Nothing. Let's go. Get the fuck out of there. Maybe storage now? That was weird. I like loaded in way too fast. It's bleeding, dude. Clock hand? What's this? There's a clock hand inside the hole. Is that blood? Oh my god, what is that? That looks so fucking creepy, dude. I'm out of there. I want nothing to do with that. I want... Take the hammer for safety, dude. I want nothing to do with that, nothing to do with that, nothing to do with that. Okay. Got the hour hand. Put it right there on the two. Are you out there? Where the fuck are you? Oh my god. Alright, I'll look again, but I, I don't think anything's going to be there. Is the TV saying something? I can't really hear it. I don't know what to do. Is time moving at all? Is that what they want me to notice? Oh, I didn't talk to the clock. Uh, well, it's definitely 2 a.m. So... Is that what you want me to do? Oh, shit. Oh! Ava? Wait, the, the clock went back. Ava. Ava is... is... is everything alright? It's Henry. Henry. Ava, Ava, is something wrong? Something wrong? It's dark in there. I thought your apartment was empty. Empty? When did you come back up here? Up here. You don't seem the same as before. Same as before. Why are you repeating? Repeating? <laughs> Ugh, this is useless. Useless. Can I change the hour hand? Oh my fucking god, it's in the fridge, dude. You're kidding, right? Red liquid. Some red liquid is dripping from the cabinet. It couldn't be. Get the fucking hammer, Henry. I'm not fucking around, dude. You gotta be kidding me. It's gone. Oh my god, it was hanging from the ceiling. In the same way that this would be fucking hanging right here, right? I suppose we could go to the bathroom. Might as well check everything. I have a feeling that it's definitely, uh... It's definitely gonna be... This bedroom, huh? Some shit's gonna happen. No? Computer. This thing. I'm kind of glad I can't access it now. Although I guess I could have used it for some help. Oh well. Just my luck. Dude, I don't want to go back out there. Everything seems so useless or unrelatable now. Is that what you have to say about everything? 
that guy is not even there anymore. You're not going to comment on anything? Fuck it. I guess we just have no choice. Dude, I'm freaked, man. Ava, she's back. Hey! Did you just come back? Yeah, just now. Why? You... I thought you already came. What? Please, don't, don't try to scare me now. So what took you so long? Sorry, I fell asleep at the grill. I didn't see a phone when I stepped in. Yeah, you have to ask for it. I was waiting for someone to show up at the counter. I don't know how long I was there, but when I woke up, there was still no one. So I just left. Sorry, Henry. I could go to some other place. No, no, it's fine. Let's just forget about the phone. The streets are totally empty. It's like a ghost town. Well, it's Dim River. True. Speaking of vacant places, didn't you say the thing? Whatever it is blocking your door, it crashed through your ceiling? Yeah, some big old rusty cabinet or something. What about it? The fourth floor is vacant. The entire fourth floor? Oh, the entire fourth floor? I've been wondering why I didn't, don't hear a peep from up there. Thought it was just some loner. Well, I did hear something tonight. Probably the landlady. Probably the landlady or something. Anyway, you must have seen how they've even blocked the stairs with that gate. Yeah, I figured it was just for construction work. No, they just... They've just left that place be. Wonder why it's still empty. I think the Lincoln Junkies did something up there. Really? They've been in this building? Ha! They're everywhere, man. Looking for some good spots to take drugs, I assume, and probably ruin the place in the process with their weird... whatever... rituals? I don't know, but the place excites me. Why did you have to say rituals, dude? Oh yeah, didn't you say you were a photographer or something? I'm a florist. Taking pictures is just my hobby. I'm a total amateur. Could you take a picture of the apartment? The apartment above you from here? Yeah, I'm curious what it looks like. Okay, you won't see much. I know. Alright, let me get my camera. Why would you ask for such a scary thing? The right thing to do is just talk for six hours. <laughs> Alright, let's see. This is kind of weird. Sure is. <sighs> Got it. Hmm. Also blue curtains. What? Smile. Ugh. <laughs> Kawaii. <laughs> okay, I'll go slide the photo under your door. Y yeah. Dude, why would you set yourself up for some of the most scariest bullshit? Did she just take a picture of me? Hmm. She likes you, dude. It's obvious. She wants to be your girlfriend. She love you very much. She talked to you once. Henry's a goddamn brain cell, dude. Visit the brain cell subreddit. What's taking her so long? I should check the hallway. No! What? Why do you do these things? Let go of me! What's this, huh? You creeping around, spying on your neighbors? No, I... we... Young girl like you, you like that? Come to my room, miss. Old man needs some company. Get away from me, you dirty... Come on, girly, just for a while. I'm lonely. Won't take up too much of your time. Disgusting, get off me. Somebody help! 
Quiet girl, everyone's sleeping. All right. Hammer and chisel time. Think, think. Need to distract Ina somehow. Distract Ina somehow? No, dude. What do you mean distract anyone? For I need something that makes a loud sound and it needs to come from Ina's place. The radio. He lives right next to me. I don't want to use this as a distraction. It has value, sentimental at least. There must be a better option. Fuck you, Henry. That is the absolute most garbage thing you could say as a human being, my guy. No, I don't want to throw this because it means something to me when there's a girl right outside that really fucking... Just anybody that needs your help. What the fuck is that thing, dude? Um... What? Oh, there we go. Set the alarm, swing it through Inna's window. Wait, is that the alarm? Combined with my... This will break a window, and if I set the alarm, it gets double the noise. Okay. What? How do I get to his window? What, did, what just popped up? Did anyone else see that? <laughs> uh, maybe the bathroom? Yeah, alright, here we go. I'm gonna have to swing this blind. I've always wanted to throw my alarm clock out the window. Even better if it goes through someone at some asshole's window. That should do it. I should now go check if it catched his attention. Catched. Oh, man. I can pour you a drink at my place, missy. Don't you get it? I'm not interested. Wait, what's that sound? Seems to come from your apartment, old man. Those damn junkies. She looks really uncomfortable in those high heels. Alright, time to see the fucking scariest bullshit Polaroids that I definitely did not actually want. Ava has slid the picture. Let's see. So the window's broken? What? Did she give me the wrong photo? But where has she taken this? That's not my apartment. And it can't be above the, the above one either. The point of view doesn't match the... Hmm. Whatever. This wasn't really worth the hassle anyhow. Mm-hmm. Terrified. I could do radio or I could talk to her. It's what it seems like. I'll, I'll do radio. And now, if you got that special girl or boy by your side, grab his or her hand and squeeze it so hard until they tear up. Because you never know when you might not see them again. The person I mean. Not the hand specifically. Ha ha ha. Spread the love, man. Yeah, that's my thing. <laughs> love everyone around you as much as possible before some jerk comes around and ruins it all once again. And if you ain't got no girl, old man, well, think of the last time you did and just think, world is a beautiful place indeed. All right, get ready for lovely Shirley Monroe with the song, If I Could Go Back. This is... DRFM. I, I love you. I, I love you. Please marry me. You, you beautiful woman. Was that you who made the sound? Yeah. Sorry it took so long. 
You all right? Uh, yeah, yeah. It's just... Wow. How did you do it? It was pretty easy. There might have been a better way to do it, but... Really? Do you mean that, or...? Well, it worked right. Thanks for saving me, I guess. Anyway, about the picture. I'm sorry, could I just take a minute? Before we do anything else? That whole thing was uncomfortable. Yeah, yeah, sure. You think we should just sleep through this? It's pretty late. I could use a bit of rest, but... This doesn't seem to go anywhere anyway. Let's get back to it later. Yeah. Alright. I mean, time hasn't even moved a single fucking second, it seems. Wow. Are you sure you don't- I don't need that- that hammer and chisel? <laughs> you sure? Hey, people are back! Awesome! They're making out. Good for you guys. Maybe one day... I'll have a love of my own. Why does it feel like there's more that I could do? For some kind of like true ending. This seems like the end of the game. What do I do? What do I do with the hammer and chisel? Well, I guess it's about time I try to get some sleep. I am pretty tired. I hope she's alright. Probably hates me for making her do all that stuff for me. I always screw everything up. Nothing ever changes. Go to bed? No! Dude, do you guys see the, like, eyes on the screen? Look, you can see it a bit better there. You see it, right? What the fuck is up with that, dude? I thought maybe something was burnt into my monitor. It just seems too, too easy. It seems too easy, man. I don't think the right answer is to go to sleep. I just don't buy it. So is the blood actually still there? It is, so that, that really did happen. That's something that happened. What's out here? Nothing. I don't know. I I guess we could just go to sleep, but it just seems wrong. Maybe I could knock? No? Fuck it. So strange, man. The eyes are so creepy. Are they getting more visible? Oh shit, they totally are. They they got red. So you actually managed to doze off? First thing I'm doing is looking outside that window. What the hell? Is that a phone ringing? That's... Have they fixed the phone lines? Everybody's fucking gone again, dude. Oh my god, there's like... That wasn't that way. The ringing stopped. And the lines are still dead. You fucking son of a bitch, dude. Everything, everything seemed to be going just fine. It is... 3... 
Oh my god, it's almost 3.30. Isn't 3.33 like the worst time? Okay, it's 4.20. <laughs> it's like, did I make it through? Cool. Looks like nothing over there. Is that, was that that way? I noticed everything is gone. You don't want to comment on that? Damn, dude. I have nothing. Bathroom, maybe? And I'm getting bombarded with Gmails. So that guy, oh shit. Well, at least somebody's having a good time, huh? Maybe you, maybe you guys should close that curtain though. <laughs> Just saying. At least there's people, right? At least those they didn't go away or anything. So it's not it doesn't feel that bad. But I'm fucking... Oh my lord. What is that? Let me out. Let me out. I should just leave? Yes. Yes, we should just leave. What do you mean? What would you do? What would you do? You saw that shit. What would you do? Tell me. What would be your solution to that problem? <sighs> Nothing again. Okay. I have I think I just have to like deal with it, right? Unless it's at the bathroom window. Can I look to the right and see it from here? No. Okay, so we just have to deal with it. Alright, come here, you idiot. I'm gonna throw an eraser at you. Oh, it's gone. The creature is gone? What the hell was that anyway? Uh, dude. Dude, you're gonna make me leave and it's gonna be in my apartment. Yeah, it's it's 100% going to be in my apartment. He saw me. What's the point of these? Why do I bother buying them? They're just distractions. Waste of money. Are you having like a like a Buddha moment right now? It's all just stuff. I don't need it. Nothing. I waited there for a whole minute, by the way. <laughs> Wait, can I not talk to it? Okay. The light is flickering. Flashing light warning. There's something inside the lamp. I should open it up. Can't reach the lamp without something to stand on. Chair. Stool. This should help me reach the lamp. Another one of these? Why did I turn like that? The night is darkest before dawn. End is near. For one, beginning of the end, and for the other, end of the beginning. One of whom is a reminder of hope, the other, the lack thereof. Both are one and the same. They cannot coexist after the night. What am I going to do with that information? Are you awake? Come on, I'm scared. <laughs> Get over here, dude. Fucking scared, man. I don't know what to do. Oh, shit. Huh. Was that Ava knocking? Guess she wants to talk. Hey, baby. Miss me? She looks like she's wearing, like, a Fallout 
uniform, like a vault uniform. Hello again. Hey, what's up? Not able to sleep? Uh, how come? You're making a lot of noise. Ina's going to come knocking. That would be the second time tonight. So what are you doing there? I don't know. I'm seeing weird things. Don't know if it's from the fact that I woke up so suddenly from sleep, and now I'm still kind of dreaming, or something's wrong with me. Okay, we need to get you out of there. You're starting to get cabin fever. Ha! Also, did I hear a phone? You heard it too? Yeah, I thought I did. The lines are fixed now? Could be easier to... No. They're still dead. Well then, how did... So it's not just me. You spoke of those guys, the Lincoln Junkies. You said they did something upstairs? I mean, I'm not sure. I've seen some of their tags there. You've been up there? You've been up there? <laughs> yeah, I've been in the hallway. How? Isn't the gate locked? That was back when there was no gate. Oh. Guess I could climb over it now. Really? It's pretty narrow. Are you saying I'm fat? Yes. No. It's just... <laughs> I'm messing with you anyway. You thought I could resist the temptation to, expl to explore an abandoned floor right above me? So what's it like up there? About what you expect. Same as this floor, but dustier and grimier and, well, there were a lot of those tags I mentioned. Okay. Okay. Well, I guess I'm gonna jump over that gate. Wish me luck. Whoa, wait. You're going up there? Well, you clearly want me to. And I want to. And do what? Check that apartment. One above me? You think it's not locked? I mean, I don't know. I'm gonna see if it is. I don't know about this. Imagine how pissed you'd be. We would... We would be... We would be if that door was open all along. And we could have just kicked the damn thing, locking the door down. You don't want to find out? I guess, just... Let me find something that could break that lock instead. Oh, really? Isn't that worse? Yeah, but if you need to get out of there in a hurry, it's faster this way. I can keep guard and look at the gate while you're up there. What? How? I can see through a hole to the hallway. That's... creepy. Well, it's not like I'm seeing someone's room. Still, I was wondering how you knew I was in trouble. Are you sure you're all good? I'm fine. I'm feeling much better now. Okay. I'm gonna find something now. Alright. Okay, so I mean, this has to be the hammer and shit, right? Let's go get hammer. Duh. Ah, yes. These are from my workshop days. However, short time that was, I used to do carving little statues. I was never good at it, but I enjoyed it. People were friendly there. Kind of missed those days. Anyway, this could prove useful in my predicament. Don't give me that, like, evil cue. Evil sound effect. Here, I'm going to throw a hammer at you. Catch it. I got chisel and a hammer. I can do with just a hammer. You can keep the chisel. Alright. I have to throw the hammer to you since I can't slide this under the door. Okay, hold on. <laughs> what the hell? Oh my god, she caught it. That's fucking crazy. Off to explore Vault 123. Okay. So now what? I guess we could watch her. I don't even need that open anymore. Let's see what she does. Oh, that was a little bit too loud. <laughs> Why does she walk that way? It's just so unnatural. She's creepy. 
Okay. Erg, what are we doing? Be careful, Ava. Yeah, for real, dude. Do we have the chisel? Used it with the hammer to carve. Ava took the hammer. What can we do with a chisel? Let's think before we get thrown into a situation. Did did she get in? What the fuck? I was in the menu, dude. You tell me the game doesn't stop while you're in the menu this whole time? Ava! Hey, Henry. The door was open? Nope. Then how did you get in? I didn't hear you using the hammer. When I found the door, it was locked, of course. So I used your key. I realized I still got him. Gave it a try for the hell of it and it actually worked. How's that possible? They probably reused the same lock. This floor has been vacant for a long time. Makes me wonder if there's a lock here that fits my key. Anyway, so we're here while well, I'm here. It's dusty and all, but this is in surprisingly good shape. And there's furniture. I have to take a few photos. You're not in a hurry, right? Yeah, make more evidence of this crime. <laughs> you, you took a camera with you? Of course. Okay, enough. Let's pull this thing down. It's barely hanging from here. When I opened the door, it moved quite a lot. Let me get into place first. Okay, ready? Ready. Start stomping or something. Yeah, I'll try not to fall down with it. No, you should fall down with it. If it falls. Oh, I see her. Woo! We got it. We did. What in God's name is that racket? Oh, crap. I'll handle him. You sure? Yeah, wait here. Okay, again. Don't worry. We're so close. Block. Still can't really move this out of the way. What's inside anyway? I can open it now. Huh. Doesn't open. Probably all rusted shut. I could pry this open though with something. Use the chisel? <laughs> oh my god. There's a noose in here. Why? Ah, that scared me. Okay. Oh, great. The door lock is broken. The fall must have broken it. Alright, time for plan B. Hmm. What's plan B? Just climb. I think I could hoop the rope to that door handle above. And then climb up. That's the way I get out of here. Let's fucking go! Here we go! Dude, are we out of here? Are we actually- Oh my god, we're out of here? But this is- And we can't leave. This is some bullshit, okay? This is not cool, man. Something is blocking the door from the other side. Can I go to the bathroom? It's locked. I can smell something horrible coming from there. Why can't I just open the door and leave? I can go into the bedroom? Oh my god, this is fucking... Oh, I do not want to open the curtains yet. No, 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 no. I'm gonna go... I'm gonna go out here. <laughs> oh, there's the tag, dude. Oh my god, a camera. It's almost daytime, dude. We're chilling. We could have just waited the rest of the time. I'm trying to see if there's anything new, but... Alright, well, the camera. We'll take the camera. This is Ava's camera. Guess she left it here. You can use the camera by holding control. Fuck off, dude. So you want me to take a picture of this, right? Wow, 
why didn't that do anything? What am I supposed to do? I thought maybe I could, uh... Okay, well, what about that? I thought maybe I could look inside that apartment with the... With the lights off. With using, like, the flash or whatever. Oh, I go in scary room. What am I taking a picture of? And why? Alright, I think we just have to go back. Oh my god. Fine. Let's do something about you. What are you talking about, dude? What are we- what do you mean? What are we doing? What are we doing about this? Are we actually doing something about this? What do you want me to do about it? Alright. I don't know. Where did it go? It's still around here somewhere. Don't say that! <laughs> the fuck? Oh, where's Ava? Come back! Is it invisible? Oh, I'm fucking scared, man. What? What am I... I don't know. What am I doing? What is it doing to me? I don't have much time. What do you mean you don't- what? I don't even know what I'm supposed to be doing. Do I leave? Wait, what about this? I have no idea, dude. I'm fucking freaking out. It's so unclear. I don't understand. What do you want from- oh, there we go. Um... I am so fucking confused now. Am I, like, can I see it once I take the picture? Can I, what, what am I, what am I doing? Can I go in the bathroom? I'm so fucking confused, I am. So it's like, where? I'm gonna die? Is that what's about to happen? Because I don't know what the fuck is happening. 
I, dude, I'm fucking, I'm absolutely baffled by what is happening here. I get it. Yeah. It's like around somewhere, but I see. So he could be... I can't see anymore, dude. I, like, really can't see anymore. There you are. Is this a boss fight? I'm... I'm... I'm yes, I win! <sighs> what the fuck ever. I'm stuck. Henry. Ugh. I wanted to take a picture of her. Taking a liking to my camera. It, I, it was great. Ava, this place, it's, you haven't seen my apartment, but. Whoa, easy. We're advancing a bit quick, don't you think? How about we go and get something to eat? Fresh air alone is enough for me. You done here? You ready to go? No. Oh, okay, so I can't. What exactly are you trying to show me? Fuck that, I don't even want the answers. Let's get out of here. Let's go. You did it. Did what? You made it out. Well, I couldn't have done it by myself. No, it was all you. Trust me. You're happy, right? Yes. Then great. Let's go. Oh, and here are the keys, good sir. Hell, about time. Let's go to Denny's and get a stomach ache right after. Oh, man. Good ending? I don't know if there's multiple endings. But it feels like with all the questions that they ask you, like there is. Blank frame. I don't know where to start. Ending two. U Unirophrenia? What does that mean? Unirophrenia. I mean, I like that ending. That's a satisfying ending. I don't need the other one. This game does an amazing job of killing you softly with the atmosphere. I don't know what anything is, but it's it's crazy, dude. Like I guess it's up to interpretation, so I'll let you do that yourself, but I don't even really know where to begin. I I there's some like legend of those cabins and why they went out there. They they went out there to get away from whatever this monster is, right? And those junkies, they're tagging those symbols everywhere. But it doesn't really explain why it affects us or what happens to anybody or what's really going on. Is it really a dream? So many questions. And I, it's possible that the answers might be in the other ending, but I think everything is left this way on purpose. Uh, yeah, I don't know, man. I was pretty... F like, it started off pretty okay with in regards to it not being scary. Like, it wasn't scary for a while. But once once you hit that, like, quarter point and... and things start kind of 
there's there's like a linear progression of everything is okay. Things are a little weird. And the angle just fucking like it just it goes from like a, a nice neutral position to just this nosedive and it like slowly wanes as it goes and then it's another nosedive at right at the end. You don't there's no existence of anything and then you just open the bathroom door and there's fucking a monster looking at you from the bathroom window. You know, it's really weird that stuff like that happens. And it's it's that slow descent along with the atmosphere and I'm so happy that Ava exists because this game without Ava would have been completely hopeless. Her character is so absolutely ne necessary to this story because if you were just by yourself, if you were isolated, at a certain point you would stop caring about not only what happens but also about Henry. At a certain, you you start to care more about Henry because you see this potential relationship, not romantically, but like you see this potential relationship for Henry in this great girl, Ava. And she's exactly the light at the end of the tunnel that Henry needs, and you as the player too, to make it through this fucking crazy game. Um. The only thing, the only real issues that I, I had with this game all were about the puzzles. Like the amount of time that I spent just walking around and clicking on shit and making like every single object that I saw, I put my cursor over. There's not one itty bitty piece of this entire apartment of any room that I was allowed to go into that was not incredibly analyzed by me every object has had my mouse over it and uh i guess what i'm saying is it could have been a little bit more intuitive it's it's not always so clear um what what henry believes doesn't always align or what henry thinks doesn't always align with what the character has in mind or the player has in mind so like for example you know, when he, he walks over to the radio and he's like, I'm not going to use the radio. I'm that's it's, it has sentimental value. Like, dude, your, your friend is, is out there potentially getting raped and you care about the sentimental value of your radio. It, I understand what you, you RL is trying to do. He's trying to say, no, that's too easy. We want you to figure out this puzzle, but that's too easy. So go figure something else out. But you don't you don't care it's not that's not the time to care so just let him use the radio that kind of thing like i that's one example the other example is like there's so many the hammer right you could have used the hammer for so many things you you a hammer and chisel dude on the fucking drywall where the hole is you could have cut your way out <laughs> That hammer looked like solid metal. You could have just sat there and fucking chiseled your way out. Not only that, but at the very beginning, you had access to the door handle, okay? You could have really just, like, chiseled into that door handle. You could have broken the door. Like, I, I don't know. There's so many things that you could do with the objects that Henry has at his disposal. I don't even know why he would ever consider jumping out of the window. It That, to me, never made sense. The other thing that also never made sense to me is not sleeping. Because if you're in that situation, 9 times out of 10, unless you have like graveyard shift, why would you ever try to get out at night? You just wait until the morning. Everybody's up. Like, there's light outside. There's more people walking outside. It's just strange. There's a lot of things like that. But I I understand that it, at the end of the day, it's a game. And if we sat here and we picked it apart like that, then I would never enjoy a game ever, right? So, overall, I think this is a great game. And it's worth every penny, which I believe was like two to four bucks. I've, I don't know, but... 
I really enjoyed it for what it was. I think this is one of those gems that gets buried underneath so many releases. And I'm glad that I I had the antennas and I just kind of fucking found it. I stumbled across it really, so that's that's neato. Uh but yeah, I, I hope RL is doing fine and I, I hope they're working on something new. I'll have to check, but uh I'll definitely put a link in the description so you guys could check out their itch.io. Thanks for watching guys. A good game? Man, I have to pay for games more often. No. But anyway, bye-bye, guys.